Hey guys, my Facebook friends. No one's watching, that's all right. So are they my teeth? No. So I um, decided I was gonna bake something just now and I started baking, I'm like, hey, you all think I'm a baker and I'm technically a professional baker. Wouldn't it be fun if I did a Facebook Live while I'm baking? So I've already gotten started over here and, um, and I'm doing this because the new dollop owner sent me all these frostings to test and I need something to put them on. So I'm baking from my cookbook. I'm baking, hey Todd, this might be a while, um, my peanut butter and jelly banana bread um, from scratch and so I've already got it started so I pulled out my mixer was in storage for like a year and it's rusted and dirty so it's um, I can't even get it to close so we're gonna see how this goes so just I don't know this is just on a whim I've got my wine and um, I feel like I'm shouting and I'm just going to bake this and, and let's see what happens. So I've already put a bunch of the ingredients in the bowl. Um, the peanut butter, the, sh the butter or shortening, whatever you want to use, um, the applesauce, the banana. Now I'm going to add the vanilla. Now it calls for a certain amount of vanilla, but um, I don't like getting another dish dirty, so I'm just going to guesstimate. I think that was too much. So just a splash of vanilla. And um, I know I wasn't planning on doing this, so I'm baking while looking a mess, and this is just all a mess. Okay, here we go. I can't get the, um, it's broken. So this is what happens when your equipment's broken. Alright. I can't get it to turn off. Okay, it's broken. You gotta use a paper towel to get it to turn off. It's all rusted. It's a mess. Let's see what's next. Okay. Whoa. We're gonna mix. I got all the wet ingredients. We're gonna mix in the bowl the, the dry ingredients. So, um, gluten free flour. Now, I couldn't find this, this calls, ugh, the camera's in front of the cupboard. This calls for baking soda, but I couldn't find any baking soda at the store. Ooh, so I'm gonna use baking powder and let's see what happens. Okay, um, but you do have to, if you're gonna sub baking powder for baking soda, you have to triple the amount. So three times the amount of baking powder for baking soda, and it still might not even work. So don't trust me on that one. Um, all right, this is new. I just, I gotta open this. Now, I gotta get a bowl, and I'm going to, this is the best bowl I can find. This isn't, you know, we're just renting this place, so whatever they've got here is what what I gotta use. Um, this package isn't the easiest to open. All right, that's not gonna, Work. you really need scissors to open these things. Um, let's try a, a knife. Oh, all right, that worked. Okay, um, so let's see. Flour, it calls for uh, three quarters tablespoon baking soda and a cup of flour. So I have a half a cup measuring scoop here you know uh, this is this is a mess all right that's about sometimes you can just be approximate with it that's um that's about a cup of flour now the baking soda three quarters times three is one and a half plus three quarters. It's another half. 
two and a quarter. Two and a quarter tablespoons. These only got a half, a, just a pinch, and a teaspoon. So two and maybe two pinches. Let's see. Two, one, two, and let's do two pinches. Now, I um, this calls for adding salt, but actually I think one pinch. I think a, one pinch is enough. This calls for adding salt, but I only had salted butter, so I'm not gonna add salt because that's gonna be too much salt. So, now I do have a whisk. I brought this myself. And you're gonna whisk the flour and the baking powder. And um, I gotta read the directions. Let's see. Whisk, add the mashed banana, slowly add the flour mixture, blend until smooth. Okay, blend until smooth. Okay. We're gonna, there's not really a slow on this. Oh. Oh. And, um, oh gosh. All right, you got most of it in the bowl. Okay, I think, I think that's good. You know, it's not a lot of batter. And so here's the other thing, I don't have a loaf pan. There's a lot of things I don't have for this recipe, but I'm doing it anyway. So I don't have a loaf pan, so I'm just going to use a cake pan. Now, I don't know that that's gonna be big enough, but I think it will. So I'm gonna spray my cake pan. Now again, this calls for a loaf pan. If you have a loaf pan, it is it is messy. This is really, I know, I look like a mess. This is a mess. My equipment doesn't work. I don't have the right ingredients, but you can't stop me from baking a cake. Okay, so I'm gonna spray that. I'm gonna, I need a spatula. I got a spatula courtesy of Reynolds Kitchen. And um, you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure everything got mixed. I think we're good. So, this is, um, you guys, this, this, um, this mixer attachment doesn't really fit in this bowl, um, but it's the only one I had, so we're just going with it. Donald wants to lick the bowl, but I'm not going to let him. Okay, that's not, I'm not, this isn't a good thing. I'm not getting a lot of the batter off of this. Um, that's fine. That's just how it's going to be. Okay. Now, I'm going to spread this into my cake pan. I hope I didn't forget anything. And um, then the recipe calls for some jelly to be swirled through the um, loaf. So I'm gonna get my jelly out. See, now this is the wrong pan for this. This is the wrong pan. It's the totally wrong pan. It's probably not gonna bake well. Um, it's not filling the pan enough. Um, I don't know what else to say, but this is 
quarantine life, right? You just don't have all of the ingredients. You don't have the right materials. Um, you don't have the right equipment. And you do it anyway. You make do with what you've got. Who else is doing that? Who else is making do with what they've got? Okay, this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to get my jelly. I'm using Trader Joe's organic reduced sugar, because there's enough sugar in this, strawberry preserves. And I'm going to take a spoonful and I'm going to take like that much and I'm going to plop it around. You want to get enough in there. I mean, it calls for a certain amount, but again, I'm just not really paying attention. And now, oh man, and I got some on the floor. Now what you do is you're going to swirl the, you know, it really helps if the jelly isn't as cold. This jelly is a little chunky, and so it's not really swirling. Theoretically, this would swirl and it would look really pretty and you guys would be really impressed. But um, even though I am a real baker and I have won like Cupcake Wars, sometimes this is just, let's be honest, most of the time this is, this is just how I bake. Okay, there you go. Don't tell me it looks like a mess. I know it looks like a mess. I'm dropping stuff. And now, I'm just gonna smooth it out a bit. And now, I'm gonna put this in the oven for however long it takes. I don't know how long it's gonna take because I totally changed the recipe. So, I'll just show you pictures later when it comes out. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Do you wanna see Donald? Who wants to see Donald? Let me put it in the oven first because this might take a while. All right, I'm just going to set it on um, cook time. Uh, I'm going to go with 30 minutes because that seems like a safe bet to start. You know what? I'm going to stick with, there's not a lot of batter in there. I'm going to stick with 25. Hey, Amy. I love you too. This is so goofy. I don't know why I'm doing this. I have no makeup on. My hair is a mess. I look like a mess. Say hi to Donald. There he is. Um, and here's, here's my mess. I gotta clean up. And we'll see what happens when this turns out. Do you guys wanna see what it's like when it's done? I'm gonna put this frosting on it. Hey, Kathy. And, um, <laughs> Becky, do you want to see Donald again? Let's see Donald again. <laughs> there he is. Um, I'm going to put this frosting on it. I also got sent this giant bucket of Scotcheroo icing. Do you know what Scotcheroo icing is? It's a huge bucket. And so um, I guess they make they put this on... Rice Krispie Treats at Hy-Vee. Are you familiar with Hy-Vee? No one's, not many people are talking to me. Hi, I'm just talking to myself. You know, it's not as fun when I'm talking to myself. Um, and anyway, that's really all, I, all, I've, got, all I've got to share. Um, if you have any baking questions, don't ask me. See you guys. I'll show you the finished product. Okay, bye. Bye.